Greetings everybody. I am Shujat Ali from Medigos Lectures by Shujat and last day I received a message from different students to talk about neuroanatomy as well as that of osteology. So I started neuroanatomy today. I have this half head model of brain and I will discuss with you about the identification of its parts as well as their brief detail. Here are our cerebral hemispheres. In this half head model of brain as it's half head so these are not clearly described as right or left but we have frontal lobe at this position in these cerebral hemispheres and occipital lobe as this position. We also have parietal and temporal but they are not described clearly. We have cinguate and gyruses in these hemispheres. We have central sulcus in it. And this white area, this area we know it as corpus callosum. It is myelinated and white in color and it possesses genus and body. And the area just posterior to that, this smaller white area, this we know it as fornix, it is behind that corpus callosum and it carries information from hippocampus from and into the hippocampus. It carries basically information from and into the hippocampus, this white area. And this area we know it as a septum pellucidum and septum pellucidum as its name shows septum so it is just as a relay center between hippocampus and fornix and it is divided into lateral left ventricle and right lateral ventricles and this bluish colored area this area is choroid plexus and this is our thalamus as thalamus shows it is basically a major control center of our body. Just posterior to the thalamus we have hypothalamus and uh, hypothalamus plays its role in homeostasis of our body as well as it plays its role in releasing of vasopressin and oxytocin. In this half head brain model this is superior nasal conchae. This is middle nasal conchae or conchae. This is inferior nasal conchae. In the same way, here, an opening, a little opening right here, it is present. And we know it, this opening as opening of auditory tube. In the same way, this is our heart palate, this area. This area is our epiglottis. This is vocal cord, this area. This is sarcoid cartilage, this area. This is palantoin tonsils. In the same way, here we have soft palate at this area. No further talking about the anatomy. So this is our pituitary gland as it is a major control, controlling gland and releasing hormones. This is pituitary gland. On just above to pituitary gland, we have optic chiasma as its name shows optic. So it basically possesses optic nerves, optic nerves are passing through this optic chiasma. And this area, this is our cerebellum, as its shape shows, it is tree-like. We also know it as little brain. And cerebellum is basically helping us in major controlling center in our body and it is known as arbor vitae. In the same way, we have pineal gland at this position, we have pineal gland in our brain. This is pineal gland. And this is our medulla oblongata having midbrain, pons, medulla and whole is medulla oblongata. And this area here, there is a gap between these midbrain and that of the cerebellum. We know it as cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of sulvia. And at this position, we have two colliculi. We have superior colliculi and we have inferior colliculi at this position. And this is our basic discussion on this half-head brain model. Hope you all understand it well. 
डोंट फॉर गेट सब्सक्राइब मेडिकोज लेक्चर्स बाई शुजा थैंक यू सो मच